Okay, what we're going to do is check the charging system today on my uh, motorcycle. <clears throat> this happens to be a Kawasaki ZX-10, but they're all going to be pretty much the same. Um, I've had some electrical issues in the last week. It's not, um, you know, going to be diagnosed or discussed in this video. But if you want to see why I'm actually checking this, um, you can check one of my past videos. So what we have right here is a multimeter. This is what you're going to need to check your charging system. This one is from Sears. Um, they're all pretty similar. Uh, you want to hook it up and set it to voltage direct current. This is DC voltage. If yours is set up like this. Um, if not, just read your manual. There, there's a little bit of differences on some, but it's real simple. DC voltage is what we're looking for, guys. Uh, you're going to have two leads, uh, negative and positive and you can follow them back I've put them right here on the motorcycle obviously negative positive if you don't know what your negative and positive is go do something else but anyway <clears throat> usually I will um, I have these held with my hand or you know uh, kind of wedged into place since I'm holding a camera today it's a little bit tougher hopefully we have a good connections I had tested them just prior to this video and they were working so I have this on right now and we're at 13.01 volts. Um, that's great. This is a 12 volt system. Doesn't mean we're gonna get 12 volts. It means we better get at least 12. I mean 12 is really dead at that point. We need to be closer to 13. Check your owner's manual. Um, I believe that uh, Cowie, you know, they say 12.8 is about perfect for these, but Irregardless, what we're going to want to do is check it, voltage, direct current, turn on the battery, or, I'm sorry, we're going to check it at voltage DC, we're going to switch on the battery, voltage will drop as it cycles up, and we're looking at about 12.7 volts. We're going to start the motorcycle in a second, and we need to see that number higher than the number on the reading. Yours might say 12.2, 12.3, uh, whatever it is. Once you start it up, um, maybe not at idle, but at three to 4,000 RPMs, it definitely needs to be above what your pre-startup reading was. If not, then you're just not getting enough voltage to the battery to charge it, and we need to figure out why that would be. But next, uh, we're starting it up, and we're gonna hope that the gauge stays in place that my connections at the battery stay um, like they need to. Um, as long as the numbers don't jump all over the place, we should be good. And uh, we'll put it about 4,000 RPMs and we'll see what we got. So here we go. The 12.6 is not gonna cut it at idle, but See what we get when we move this voltage up. Let me get it out of the way a little bit. Okay, so we can see that that's definitely charging. It never got above 15 volts. Um, something I didn't mention before, I had the brights on at one point. Um, just kind of see if there was any extra. Well, that would be, you know, the, a heavier draw. So I wanted to have the brights on just to see where it was at. But I did test um, with and without the brights on. So if my battery right now is around 13.1 to 13.2, and it's charging um, at 14 to 14.5, 14 um, at least under 15, I shouldn't have an issue, and neither should you. So that's one way to check. If that's what you have, then you don't have a charging problem. Unless, like me, you do. And in that case, go on to my next video, because we'll figure out what it is from there. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.